So, my Twitter timeline has been filling up with indie game developers, and that's fine by me. I have a strong appreciation for indie games, since uh, AAA games these days are becoming either a bit more greedy or just disappointing. I may be a small channel, but if I can get one more person to take interest in these passion projects, then I like to think that I did something right. Please keep in mind that most of these games are still in development and may not even be released this year. So I encourage you to follow their social media pages and add their games to your wish list. I'm ready. Let's do it. Omega Striker is an air hockey MOBA game that is developed by Odyssey Interactive and is set to launch in April of this year on both PC and so, Nintendo Switch, with PlayStation and Xbox ports planned for the future. I know people who refuse to touch the MOBA genre due to their complexity and chaotic visuals, but I encourage those people to at least give Omega Strikers a chance since the premise and gameplay is incredibly fun and simple. I did get to play the beta on Steam a few months ago, and yeah, I can confirm that this game is a lot of fun. Omega Striker currently has a campaign going on where if 1 million pre-registers are met, the player base will be rewarded with free cosmetics after the game's launch. The Bloodline is an open world RPG being developed by a single individual going by the name Shield Bearer. Shield Bearer posts videos on his Twitter page almost every day showing off the game's art style, combat, and spellcasting. I recommend you watch these videos as there is something that should cater to your taste. As silly as it sounds, the video that initially caught my attention was the one that showed the game's combat and also some of the smoke effects because they look like the ones seen in Zelda Wind Waker. I've been following the Bloodline ever since and I have been further impressed with each new video. Jamphibian is a colorful action game with an emphasis on music. As far as I can tell, there seems to be two key developers, Hayden, the main developer, and Jamphibious FM, the music composer. I'm gonna take a guess that Jet Set Radio and Lethal League were inspirations for this game. Jamphibian has a Kickstarter campaign if you'd like to donate and contribute to this project's development. I will leave a link in the description. Victory Heat Rally is a 2.5D pixel racing game developed by Sky Devil Palm. I'm not even big on racing games, but I can always appreciate a good art style. In fact, a lot of indie games caught my attention due to their art style. As far as I can tell, Victory Heat Rally is entirely 2D pixel art, but goes the extra mile to give the illusion of 3D. The game has a playable demo on Steam if you are interested. My last mention is not a game, but a single developer. Tiani Pixel, I'm sorry if I butcher that name, is one of the developers for the game Unsighted. But as of right now, I'm more interested in the development of these 3D models and animation. The art style for these models seem to be inspired by Mega Man Legends. I could not find any confirmation that these models are to be used in any upcoming game, but there is a definite possibility that they can be used in the future. If you do want to support Tiani, then check out Unsighted. I know there are plenty more indie games and developers that deserve shoutouts, but I want to keep this video short and make it an ongoing series. That being said, I will be back with more hidden gems, and I'll see you all in the next video.